Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Um, the last time I saw you, I showed you two bottles of table wine that I picked up at Trader Joe's. Both those bottles looked a little bit um, unique. Uh, the last one that I tried, and they were both $4.99 at Trader Joe's. The last one I tried was that uh, Coves du Fournelay Cote de Rhone, uh, and I believe I rated it at 84 Five, uh, you can go back and check it out. Um, but this is the other bottle that I picked up. This is the uh, Dacano Chianti, uh, 2010 Chianti. You know, I was trying to look up some information uh, about this particular wine, and most reviews were for their Chianti Reserva, which comes in a, a normal looking bottle, like a Bordeaux shaped bottle. Um, and, you know, for an extra dollar per bottle, that's, that's the Reserva. This is just their regular old generic table wine. It's, it's Dacino or Deacchino. Um, I got to get somebody to tell me. Dacino or Deacchino. Um, but it means of Aquino, I believe. Uh, so anyways, let's just dive right into it. Now, when we're talking about Chianti, again, this is just the, the classic table wine of, uh, of Italy. Um, we're talking mainly Sangiovese. There can be other grapes blended into it, but mainly Sangiovese. Um, and, and I got to tell you, color-wise, it's, it's looking pretty nice. Like it's, um, it's verging on, like it's a, it's a dark burgundy, but almost verging on purple at just the right angle. Now, as far as the nose... Getting that classic Chianti nose, you're getting like some uh, some cherries, some red and some black cherries um, mixed in with a little bit of earth, a little bit of soil, a little bit of mushroom there, and I am getting like a little little raisin action on this one too. It's it's again, and I was surprised with that uh, Coves du Fournelay that that both of these you know relatively inexpensive wines, relatively, how about just they are inexpensive wines, uh, we're bringing very complex noses, which uh, I kind of like. When you got a complex nose like mine, you, you look for a wine with the same thing. You know, one more sniff here. Yeah, and that, that soil and that mushroom is, is really starting to uh, jump out. And, and, you know, again, these are wines that are just, they're meant for, you know, your everyday Italian fare. And, and before I'm even tasting this, I see this going with like a, like a pasta puttanesca, something like that. Okay, pretty good stuff. Let's dive into it. Nice and, and dirty and earthy. And I know some of you are saying dirt. That doesn't sound good. It, it's, it's tremendous. Um, uh, you know, it's, it really is bringing um, these, these earthy soil type of components. Um, it's got this nice acidity um, running through this and, and still sticking around as I'm talking to you. As far as the fruits... More of that red cherry action, a little bit like a squeeze of raspberry and maybe a little bit of even um, like a little lemon in there, like just a, 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 a hair, a hint of um, lemon zest. And I'm liking this quite a bit. You know, again, we're talking about table wines here. And so, so we're we're also talking compared to the price that that you're paying for it um you know this and that Cote de Rhone the other day they were both 4.99 and both of them um surpassed my expectations of what they would taste uh or how they would taste and and how they would go i got to say that this is a little bit more complex, um, you know, th this earthiness to it is is really what's what's making me a fan um 
and I'm gonna go an 86 with this, and I think it's a, a, a tremendous buy, um, just like the last one, as far as just having a table wine to stick around for your food, when, when you don't have to uh, entertain other people, when you're not looking to blow them away, but I will say that this wine uh, could blow you away as far as, as far as the value that it is bringing for, for, uh, $5, a hair under $5. Um, it's bringing just enough complexity to, to the table to not mean, not just let me say that, that this is good, but that I do recommend you buy it. And you know, worst case scenario, you don't like it. This, uh, this bottle is a conversation piece. And so when you're sitting there at the table and you got nothing else to talk about, you can talk about the bottle and you can say, oh, that's a wacky bottle. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this show. I hope you guys pick this up and I hope you enjoy this wine uh, the way that I do. Actually, I hope you like it even more than me. Um, and, and you can tell all your friends that I, I hipped you to it. Um, but I, I really... Uh, I'm having fun here, and I, I hope you guys are enjoying this show. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, again, I'm always looking for new ideas, new wines to uh, try, and I'm, I'm keeping my little list, and then we'll start crossing things off along the way. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up uh, real soon, so maybe we'll do something festive. Maybe we'll do a little uh, beer tasting. Maybe there'll be corned beef. Hmm. Who knows? Everybody, stay rad.